Welcome everybody to Friday's edition of the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast. Have we not had a wonderful time Amen. in the Lord for two weeks? Glory to God. And um, you know, there's no lock on the front door, brother. <laughs> and uh, so just come on back. I'll tell you something funny. Yesterday at lunch, I was talking about the, the time that I, I went to South Africa, the first time I went, and I met Rodney Howard Brown there. And I called my dad and said, <clears throat> I went bird hunting, but I only got one. He said, really? I said, yeah, but he weighed 200 pounds. It was an ostrich. <laughs> and I'm telling him about all of this. You know what he said? When I was a little boy, we used to ride him. I thought, <laughs> But, you know, I didn't mention to him anything about the horses I rode here. <laughs> <laughs> now, a man by the name of Johnny Johnson, he was Assistant Secretary of Navy under, I think it's Richard Nixon. And his dad taught him that love is beyond defeat. Yeah, yeah. Now, Johnny was just a little boy, and they, they moved into a school district where it was, uh, you know, it, it, there was mixed there, and so he was going to have to be going to school with some little white boys. And so his dad told him, he said, now, Johnny, I'm going to tell you something, son. He said, that, that light skin, he said, their brains get too hot. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, you just, you just have to forgive them because they get, their brains get too hot and they don't. <laughs> I see Charlie telling me that. And he said, you just have to forgive them. And he said, I went home one time and I said, Daddy, I'll tell you what, there's one little boy, his brain must have been cooking because he said oh. he did. But he said, I forgave him and I just kept forgiving him. By the end of the school year, he was the most favorite boy in all the wow. whole school, Great and he was the favorite. I mean, he, they, they all loved him, and they ganged around him because love is, divine, is beyond defeat. Come on. God. And he said, then I realized what my dad had done, and he said, it's too late. I've already learned the lesson. Yeah. And yeah. so when he was undersecretary of the Navy, the president sent him, uh, they were having race riots in the Seventh Fleet. Well, a military airplane, the number one in command gets off first. Well, the admiral was there, and Johnny came down the, and he's looking around. He said, uh, is uh, Secretary Johnson here? And he walked over there, and he said, I'm Secretary Johnson. Oh, that admiral didn't like that. Hmm. Anyway, he said, we got a problem here, so... He went, he was on the fan tail of the forest all. And he said, Lord, I'm gonna teach on love and they can either throw me off this ship Come on. or we'll have a revival. And he said, I just started talking about love. And he said, all of a sudden, then one, one, one boy said, oh, Mr. Secretary, Mr. Secretary, come quick, come quick, come quick, come quick. He said, what? Oh, he said, I almost, I, I almost killed a sailor. He said, come quick, come quick, come quick. He's in the dispensary now. He said, I hit him in the head with a pipe. And he went down there. Yeah. And, he, and he said, this young sailor laid hands on that young sailor. Mm. And that young sailor was healed. Come on. And it caused a revival throughout the seventh fleet of the United oh. States. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Love is divine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we talk. Mm. and just had so much fun together and, and right up until the time he went home to be with the Lord at an old age. Mm. And uh, I still have the book, yeah. Love is Beyond Defeat. Wow. Wow. Glory wow. to God. Well, here it is. When you stand praying, forgive. Mm -hmm. right. If you have all against it, that'll kill your faith. Right, right. Amen. So, hallelujah. Go. Hallelujah. No, um, we were speaking about Ephesians chapter one, verse three about that reservoir that we all have received. Um, and I, we can't walk in the fullness of that reservoir while there is unforgiveness on the inside. No, you cannot. Yeah. Yeah. Or while yeah. there's any kind of offense. We just can't do it. All it does is block that flow of the provision of God. And, and work only works, uh, mm. work, 
faith only works by love. That's mm. the, it's the only way. I mean, we know in 1 Corinthians 13, it just speaks about it. It doesn't matter if you have all the faith in the world, faith to move mountains. I heard Oral Roberts say that Yeah. to a person. Wow, wow. I heard him say that. Wow. This woman said, Brother Roberts, now my husband is sick and he needs prayer. Now, mm. he has all the faith in the world. Mm. He said, that's his problem. Yeah. She said, what do you mean? He said, you have to turn it loose. Right. Mm. Right, right. Wow. You have to turn it loose. Absolutely. And you can't do it with un an air of that's unforgiveness. Right. Yeah. That's right. It's yeah. like a block pop. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've got the reservoir, you've got the supply line, but you all know that from the reservoir to the house, the pipeline gets smaller and smaller. That's it. Through the suburb, it's a bigger pipe, and when it gets to your street, it's a smaller Jerry pipe. Jerry Seville calls it a blessing blogger. Come on. There we go. And that's exactly what happens. Yeah. Now, Brother Hagen called it the Ephesians 1-3 prayer. Mm -hmm. Right. Blessed be the God of our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places yes. in Christ. Right. Yes. It's all there, That's right. Amen. but faith has to bring it down. Come on. Yes, Come and it's, on. it's past tense. He has blessed us. Yes. It's not something we have to hope for or wait for. Oh, that's good. It's mm. already been done. Mm. But what I really love is I once heard a preacher say something, and his name was Brother Kenneth Copeland. Uh oh. <laughs> and he said, he said, every time he sees that word blessed, yes. it means empowered to prosper. Yes, it does. And so when it says we are blessed, we have been blessed. He has blessed. He has already empowered us to prosper with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. Now, do you know that spiritual blessing, I actually looked up in the Dake Concordance and it says that everything necessary for the work of God among men is what that spiritual blessings are. Yes. So anything you need to get that project done, anything you need to get it's that dream there. fulfilled, Come on, it's there. everything it's in necessary there. is yeah. in yeah. that, in heavenly places, which means it's not according to your limitations. It's not according to um, how, you know, what you think you mm. need to get that thing fulfilled. It's according to His riches in glory. Yeah. There is a that's limitless what, that's supply. What the Spirit of God said through the Apostle Paul. Amen. Right. And then you right. go to go back to the Genesis book, the beginning, and in the first chapter, hmm. let us make man in our image after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over the cattle and over all the earth and every creeping thing that creeps. And God created man in his own image and God blessed them and Hallelujah. said, come on, come the on. blessing of God. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Later became the blessing of Abraham. Yes. Right. Come Amen. on. In the covenant he had with right. Abraham, he said, I will bless, bless you. you. Mm -hmm. And those that bless you, I will bless. Yeah. And he that curses you, I'll curse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd, and I, I, and I it, it just went widescreen. Come on, mm -hmm. come on. Amen. That the blessing was what was missing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The curse stopped the blessing. Mm. And it became the blessing of Abram became Abraham. Mm. And God blessed God, same one that blessed mm. in the garden. Mm. Right. And I kept meditating on it. Mm. It's not a blessing. It is the he, blessing. Is There's the only Lord. one. Come on. Yes. Hallelujah. It's the blessing of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. In the hands of people. Amen. Mm. The more I continued to meditate on it, the Lord began to talk to me. It's not a, it's not a blessing. Yeah. It is, he said it's, he said it's me, it's me, Amen. it's mine. Mm. Mm -hmm. And he said every time you write it, Write it in any form in capital letters. Yep. Yeah. So you know it's the blessing. Yeah. It is the blessing of Abraham. Come on. It was the blessing of God when Jesus laid his hands on children and blessed Amen. them. Amen. Right. Amen. And that's where it is, is in those blessings. Yeah. In that blessing. Hallelujah. 
Yeah. Now, if, if, if you take that into 2 Peter and you get into um, that, that scripture in, in, in 2 Peter that is just so powerful as well in uh, 2 Peter 1, 3, mm-hmm. according as yes. his divine power yes. has yes. given unto us what? All oh. things. All oh, things. That pertain to? Life, Life and, and godliness. godliness. Oh. Now, in, 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 the, in the New International Version, it says it this way. It says, has given us everything we need for life. Yes. And amen. godliness. Amen, amen, amen. In other words, everything <laughs> is available. Yes. I have a reservoir. Thank you, Jesus. I have a pipeline attached to amen. a provision for my life. All that things. every single thing that I ever need in Christ. Yes, thank In Christ, you, Jesus. I have everything I need. Amen. What does that mean? To be in Christ, no believer ever has to face a task alone. Not in Christ. So, so when, when, when you come to realize who you are in Christ, yes, th- th- this is another week's teaching. Yes, it is. All right, this is not a Friday afternoon teaching, okay? <laughs> this is in, Christ. in Christ. In Christ. In Christ. In Christ. Come on. In Christ. Come on. And we have Christ that in me. Come and on. Christ in me. And Christ in me. My hope. And we Lord. have that assurance. Hallelujah. And, and, and when, I, when I came to realize that, th- this is like, th- th- this is like I have, all I have to do is tap into it. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I don't have to be in heaven to receive the the blessing. Nope. I've just got to tap into it. That's right. Yeah. It's available for me. It's the same way. It's the same way. And I, I know this analogy has been used before, but it's the same way. I don't have to go to the bank to get my money. That's right. All right. My money is in the bank. It's available for me whenever I need it. Wherever all I have to do, all I have to do, and, and, and this is what I want people to understand, that the bank is looking after what is rightfully mine. I don't have to physically be there to get it. All I've got to do is pick up the phone and, what? and call the bank and say I have need of, of my money to be transferred there. I have need of my money to go there. The bank knows my voice. My personal banker, when I pick up, and I guarantee you it's exactly the same with you and sure. this ministry. Sure. You pick up the phone, you phone your personal banker, they have to do whatever you tell them to do. But here's another way to look at this. You have something called a checkbook. Mm-hmm. What is that checkbook? That checkbook is something that you carry with you. It's your right to everything that is rightfully yours in the bank. All you have to do is write it out. You don't go into the bank to get what's rightfully yours. You are the bank. Mm -hmm. Think of it this way. Think of it wherever you go, the bank goes with you in the form of the provision. Yes, it's kept somewhere else, but you are the bank. You have the right. The same is for the Word of God. Yes, it is. The same is exactly. So the Word of God becomes... Who you are. You when you have know, to make the withdrawal. You yeah. can make the withdrawal yes. anytime. You can, yeah. you can write it out anytime. You yes. can call upon it anytime. Why? Because you've got the promise. Wow. Yes. Amen. You the see, reservoir. the faith dome was built by faith from the bank. Mm. Yeah. I didn't have to go to the bank for the loan. And you had made a deposit before you ever started I had started made the, the deposit thing. before. Oh, yeah. In and the seeds that you sowed oh, in yeah. getting it done. That's, yeah. that's, it's, and all that's I had to do all I had to do and all Jenny had to do and all you've had to do in this ministry Stay is in tap in mm-hmm. to that heavenly supply. Amen. It is rightfully yours. And wherever you're watching, whatever you believe in God for, whatever you trust in God for, I want you to know it's available to you. If you have the promise of the Word on it, if you stood on, on the Word, if you have the vision from God, if He has laid it in your heart, if you have a Word from God, you have rightful claim to see it come into fulfillment in your life. Why? Praise because God. the deposit is already in the bank yep. for you. And you have a covenant agreement Amen. Come on, with the banker. Come on. And the judge. Come on. And that's my secret. <clears throat> don't, don't, don't forget yeah. the covenant relationship. Come on. <clears throat> a man that was a missionary from Great Britain. He was, he was in Africa. Yeah. And um, he said, I, I needed to be home. Yeah. So tired. 
And he said, I went to the city where I was to catch the train to go where you're supposed to go to get an airplane and yeah. go back to the UK. And uh, <clears throat> they came by and they said, there, there's a man, uh, a chieftain we need you to speak to. And he said, I, I really didn't want to do it. I was tired, but the Lord said, go. He said, I went. He said, this tribe entered covenant by cutting their fingers and they would touch fingers. Mm -hmm. They'd mix blood by touching fingers. And if you went into the bank, there was a, a printed hand there next to the teller. You put your fingers up there, the teller put theirs up there, guaranteeing this transaction is going to be honest. Mm. Wow. Mm. Come on. And he said, I went in there, and he said, there's set this, this, this man, unsophisticated, and he said, I began to talk to him about the blood of Jesus, but he said, um, Jesus sent me here to touch fingers with you. <laughs> it went off in that old man. <laughs> he jumped up and he ran outside and he said, come, 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 come. God wants to touch fingers with us. Praise God wants God. to touch fingers with us. He said, suddenly that old man knew more about the gospel mm -hmm. than most of the Christians on, I ever met. Come on, come on. Wow. 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 Because of that covenant. And this is so vitally important yeah. that we, Jesus said, you have treasure in heaven yes. mm -hmm. right. where thieves and rust, right. Right. rust does not corrupt yeah. because of the blood of this book. Yeah. And once you realize that, yeah. that there was a great price paid yeah. yes. for those blessings to be Hallelujah. in heavenly places. Hallelujah. It cost Dearly, yeah. it blood was shed. Jesus went to hell so we can have we we can have blessings in heavenly places, mm -hmm. and we've been raised up with Him. Yeah. Yeah. Glory, yeah. glory! It brings it just brings me to that place again every time I think about it. Mm -hmm. it, it just broke me in the in the first place. Yeah. yeah, Thank you, Jesus. I fell before Him. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget it as long as I live. Hallelujah. I fell before him. <clears throat> and I'd been there for quite some time. Mm. I just fell to my knees. And I said, my liege, mm -hmm. let me fight your battles. Mm. I wear your armor. Mm -hmm. Let me there's things that you need to have asked before you can answer them in the earth. I'll do it. Mm -hmm. Give me utterance and I'll pray it in the spirit. Hallelujah. Let me do it. Mm -hmm. I bless you. Oh, my soul, I bless you. I bless Praise you. God. Hallelujah. You're blessing me all the time. Praise mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Praise but I have treasure yes. in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Andre and Jenny, saw this big table, mm. huge, great big thing. Wow. And all of this treasure on that table, mm. and it was all that, that Jesus, that, that, that God by the Lord Jesus, mm. Mm. had for this, for our lives and this ministry. Mm. Right. Those blessings in heaven. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I said, I don't want to get to heaven and find that table anyway but empty. I know. Yeah. Praise yeah. the yeah. Lord. Because I'm not using it on myself. Mm -hmm. We're doing this to bless churches and to bless ministries in Hallelujah. Africa and to bless ministries in England and bless ministries mm -hmm. anywhere in the United States and Canada and, and all over the world. Mm -hmm. I want that table empty mm -hmm. when I go. Oh, yeah. Praise yeah, God. Yeah. And the only way I can do it is by faith yeah. and stay in love. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why we have to be led by the Spirit because yeah. it, all it, the oh. wisdom that we have, all the wisdom that you need on how to tap into that, on how to get those answers you need, the Spirit of God has 
all of that wisdom for you. Mm. And He puts it in your spirit by His spirit. Mm. And all we have to do is turn towards Him. That's yeah, it. Yeah. That's all we have to do. And you know, very often the quickest way to do that is to pray in the, in the spirit, yeah. to pray in the Holy Ghost, but to make sure that your mind isn't somewhere else, yeah. but that your mind either quietens down to pay attention to what's happening in your spirit. Because as you pray in the spirit, you connect Whew. with His wisdom. You connect with everything you need to know how to tap in to that reservoir. He will give you the ideas. He will give you everything you need to be able to go ahead and phone this person or go to this yes, place or yes, make that appointment. Yes. So wherever the connection is needed to make it possible yes. in or a reality in the natural, yes. it will come from the wisdom of God that comes from your spirit mm. where, where His spirit is. Mm. But as you pray in the Holy Ghost, which is one of the greatest gifts we could have ever received. Oh, it is. Oh. Yeah, that, because uh, that uh, is our it, 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 It's the gateway to the super. Amen. But does it not say wisdom is the principal thing? Yes. Yeah. Not a principle. Absolutely. Yeah. And one of the manifestations of the Holy Spirit is God's word of wisdom. Amen. Amen. Vitally. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, there it is right here. Colossians chapter one. Who also declared unto us your love in the spirit. For this cause we also since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you right. and to desire that you might be filled with the knowledge right. of His will <laughs> in, the, yeah. in wisdom and all spiritual there understanding. It is. There it is. Yeah. There, yeah. Without it, we're wisdom. helpless. Come, yeah. on. Come on. We go back to the left side again. Yeah. 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 You're right. You know, Brother Kenneth, over these two weeks that we've been on these broadcasts, I've come to realize that when you so into the Word, mm. everything changes for It you. does. Mm -hmm. And I want to speak to the partners of KCM for a moment, if I may, because the wisdom we're talking about here, this ministry has released into our lives, yes. our hearts, yes. oh, Jesus. over 32 years of ministry. Praise God. What we have seen, what we have testified of over these two weeks, God's goodness mm. and God's blessing is because of the word sown into our lives. Mm. I want you this moment right now, as you take that seed and you sow it into Kenneth Copeland Ministries, as you do what God's telling you to do, even right now, I wanna believe God, and I know you're gonna pray in that last segment of the program, mm. that the favor, the blessing, and the goodness of God will come upon your life, and you will truly learn, and you will truly experience, and you will truly tap into all that heaven oh, has for you. To God. That is, Jen, and my prayer, Amen. that every one of you today tap into all that God has for you because His blessing will overtake you and the days of your life shall be blessed. Amen. Oh, I Amen. Praise God. Praise yeah. God. Hallelujah. James chapter one. Yeah. Um, count it all joy when you fall on all into different temptation, testings, and trials. Yeah. And um, it, and then he said, any man lack wisdom, of mm -hmm. uh, what? About the test, temptation, and trial. Mm -hmm. Let him ask of God, Amen. who gives liberally to all men, but let him ask in faith. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I have to believe that it's there. Yeah. Absolutely. Because we found out that the Word says, that wisdom is laid up for us. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> we'll be back in just a moment. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, God. Faith taps into God's heavenly supply and it connects you to his reservoir of blessing. Andre and Jenny Raybert have been sharing their testimony these past two weeks on the broadcast and we have learned so much about faith in God's plan. They talked about how they sowed the word and that they heard and it built their faith in their hearts. Faith positioned them to prosper and it kept producing on their behalf until they saw the plan of God fulfilled. Just as they were obedient to follow God's word and his voice, you can do the same and expect God's results. As you sow your financial seed today, we agree with what Pastor Andre said, God's blessing shall overtake you and through his favor and wisdom, you will 
we'll tap into all God has for you. Let's pray. Yours, Lord Jesus, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in heaven and in earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head above all. Both riches and honor come from you and you reign over all. And in your name and by the hand of your power and might, your ability to make great and give strength unto all, I bless your people unto an abundant harvest. Amen. Father, we thank you this morning and we give you praise. And we thank you that this building once more for one whole week will be a sanctuary for people from all over the world. And we thank you today that this building is full of the Holy Ghost and power from on high. And we praise you and we honor you today. And we pray these things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, amen. Find something life-giving on KCM.org, your study center for victory. View the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcasts on demand and study along with the daily broadcast notes or download the audio podcasts to listen on the go. Watch prior KCM events for hours with truth going in your eyes and ears wherever you are. Get real help for real life problems. Follow our guide to believe, speak, pray, learn, and apply your way to results from your couch, desk, or kitchen table. Stay focused on truth by reading the devotional from faith to faith every day. Read interactive BVOV magazines and click to unlock more content in each issue. Get a faith boost from testimonies of real life success from people just like you. Find information on what partnership means and take advantage of the resources provided just for you. Read archives of Kenneth Copeland's partner letter and download free books from our bonus library. Over 50 titles available to read on your phone, computer, or e-reader. KCM.org meets you where you are. Friday's always offering day on the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast, but Andre took care of that by the Spirit <laughs> of God, did he not? <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the Word says when you're blessed of a ministry, you need to sow back into yes, it. Hallelujah. So go to church and believe God. Safe travel oh, back home. Glory you. to God. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. When you get on there in the spirit, hijack that airplane. <laughs> <laughs> Till you get home and get in yours. Oh, Thank right. you, Jesus. Yeah, yeah the spirit. That, this, uh, th this seat belongs to us. And, uh, so, and, uh, so we'll see you next time. Until then, Kenneth, Jenny, Andre, and the class. Hmm. Reminding you again that God loves you and we love you, and Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. So shout amen, somebody. Amen. <laughs> Kenneth and Gloria Copeland would like to thank you for sowing into Kenneth Copeland Ministries. To text to give, text the letters KCM to 36609. Together with you, we are sending the word of faith to families around the world.